Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. So there you go. Um, we're going to keep working on this GUI. See, it's really warm and nice out here. So I'm in here working on this goddamn GUI. So please stop watching the video, go outside. But if you still want to stick with me, then let's go. Let's make a little health bar right in here that's exactly what i want to do so it's a very simple thing uh, we're going to make a little bar and we're going to make a little exp counter type thing and i haven't made any textures for this yet but i will i'll make some cool little things you know like bars and a circle thing for the exp and level and everything so we want to show all that off uh, but to just to make it very very simple i'm just going to make rectangle shapes right now so we're just going to make a um one rectangle shape for the background okay and this is gonna house all the all the look and everything um probably we're gonna make a little for the foreground as well we'll look in we'll look into it you know let's just start off with the background and the foreground so this no sf rectangle shape and might want to add the class for that sf rectangle shape right there um HP bar back. I'll just call it HP bar back. SF rectangle shape. HP bar content. I guess. Or what? What do you want to call it? Uh, HP bar. Um. Inside. In case we have a front later. So inside. That's cool. This is gonna be the one that actually shows us how how much HP we do have. Okay, and we're probably gonna need a text and stuff as well. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Yo, we're probably gonna need that. So we're probably gonna need it. It's a font in here. Uh, let's keep player as the top. SF font. Font, and we probably want to initialize this in our in any way we want. We could actually load it in again instead of getting it from game state but i'm not sure if we have a font we do have a font in game state hmm hmm what do we want to do what do you guys think i don't know probably loading in another font is good because then you can make your front gui exactly like you want it separate from everything else so you don't need to use the game state font let's do that you know what let's do that in some cases it's good to do so I'm going to make an init font function here, void, and put it in the private section. Let's go ahead, do that. Am I even am I even on this? Yes, I am. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, I forgot one thing. Just give me a second here. Just one second, one second, one second. There we go. Okay. I start a little timer so I know how long I've been I've been working. Uh, so you go in it font. Now we're gonna initialize this font. So this font dot load from file, okay? And we're gonna load it from our file. I don't really remember where it is, so I think it's in uh, it's in resources. No, it's just in fonts. Fonts. Theosis light. So I'm just gonna copy this. Uh, fonts okay boom 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 malicious looking good looking good this in it font all right and now we can spread things out you know what we we can spread stuff out we can make a void in it hp bar okay and here we're going to initialize the whole, uh, entire hp bar and notice we're not making separate classes for these because, you know, I want the player GUI to be one thing. And in here we can make smaller stuff so we don't get too fragmented. So that's like what I was talking about a few videos back uh, where we don't want to fragment stuff too much. But if you notice that you're using uh, these bars a lot for different things, then you can go ahead into the GUI here and just create one progress bar or something like that. And then you can use that progress bar in here in the player GUI, which will make life a little easier. So, but we don't do that right now. So I'm not going to do it. Otherwise, later on, we'll just copy paste it over. Uh, in it, HP bar. 
I'll just call it here. Uh, and this HP bar is going to look uh, beautiful, okay? Very beautiful. Um, and we're going to render the HP bar. We're going to update the HP bar. So, 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 so. Let's see. Right here. Void. Update HP bar. All right. Then we're going to do the void render HP bar. So I know there's a lot of functions, but you know, this in this way, it's good to kind of divide everything up. Whoops. I don't know what the hell I just did. Uh, there we go. There we go. God damn. All right. Render. There you go. Okay. So this is kind of fragmented up into pieces, but it's worth it. This is, this is worth it. This is good. Um, there you go. I could make a class for HP bar up here above player if I wanted to, but, but no, I'm not going to do it just yet. Not yet. If I see it's too much code in here. Oh, sorry about that. If I see it's too much code in here, I might just go ahead and do that. But anyway, let's get started. Uh, so let's initialize this HP bar, this HP bar back dot set size. Uh, SF vector 2F. Let's set it to maybe 100F and maybe 20F as the height. And we'll do the same thing for the inner. Let's call it inner, in, actually, not inside. Inner. Inner looks, inner feels better in my soul. Inner. Not inside. God damn it. Inner. There you go. Uh, once that's done, we're gonna say this HP bar mag not set fill color SF color. Let's just make it. Uh, let's make it a very dark color, but transparent. So 200, something like that. Just copy this. Okay, and this is gonna be probably some reddish color, right? Since we're we're talking about HP here, so I'm gonna do 250. Here, and I'm probably gonna do 20 20 and I'm gonna still keep it a little uh, transparent here and HP back inner now we gotta set the position here so this HP whoops this shit messed up again okay HP bar back dot set position SF no set position okay uh let's say 20.f 20.f does that sound good i think that sounds all right um or half a gray uh, you know you know you know that sounds that sounds okay that sounds all right this hp bar inner dot set position this hp bar back okay very simple very simple uh, no dot get position okay there you go I do wish they had a override for this where you can just send in a shape or a movable object and it would set the position to it just get the position from that but anyway this is fine as well there you go now once that's initialized we're gonna go ahead into render HP bar and we're gonna say this um, and we need to send in target here actually Hmm. Okay. Target dot draw this HP bar back. Target dot draw this HP bar inner. And then this render HP bar. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. I think pretty much that should at least let us see an HP bar here. Okay, so here we go. Let's try to, let's just go ahead and look in the game state. Let's see if we're rendering it. We are, let's run this. Let's see, hopefully it will render. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with HP right now, obviously. Uh, but let's see, all right, there's a little shitty uh, shit right there. A little crappy crap, um, you know. 
probably want it a little larger than that. Um, easy way to kind of not have to write all of these again is to say float width equals, let's say maybe 300F float height equals, um, what should we say? 50.F, maybe it'll make it look a little nicer. Float uh, X equals, what do we have? 20 float Y equals 20. Now the reason I can make local variables like this in happiness and in peace in my heart is because I know this will only be called once when we start the game. So we don't we don't mind making local variables. You probably don't want to do this in loops. When it's looping all the time, you don't want to make a bunch of local variables. Not that it's too costly, but it's still, it might get annoying uh, if you have too many. Um, so width, height, very simple, right? X and Y. Okay, not T. Okay, not T, not any, not F, Y. Okay. And the same thing here, you just copy this, paste it right in here, and then that will set the position as well, and you should be good. So there you go, now that will actually initialize your HP bar, and you should be good. Now how long have I been doing this? Okay, good, time to end the video. Boom! There you go, guys and girls. At least it's rendering, let's just try the render one more time. And in the next video, we're going to go ahead and add the algorithm, so it will shape with the size. Okay, that's too fat for me, I don't like that fat stuff like that. But... Yeah, and we got to make sure it renders all over here, the whole, the game. Uh, anyway, there you go. We're going to fix that, and we're going to make sure it works, and then we'll test it out. We'll try removing HP from the player, and we'll try adding HP to the player, and we'll make an XP bar, and beautiful stuff, and I'll make textures for them and everything. So there you go, guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Hope you're doing well. Go outside, like I said. Be in the sun. I'm pretty sure it's, it's spring anywhere where you are. Just go ahead, take a take a deep breath, meditate, do all those things. Keep working hard, all right? And I hope I'll I'll uh, see you in the next one, all right? Take care. Bye-bye.